You see, success is not a function of the conditions that we have. The, the, the bad boyfriend who's yelling and trying to put you down. It's not a function of the conditions of the environment or the neighborhood that you live in. Success is not a function of the conditions. It's purely a function of the decisions that you decide to make. When you decided to come to school, you decided to take another step. And there's three types of people in this world. There's people who wonder what's happening, there's people who know exactly what's happening, and then there's those people who make things happen. Because you are here today, because you are in college and you have taken that step, you have said I want to make things happen for my life. You gotta begin with the end in mind. And the way you begin with the end in mind is you do something what I call creating your life sentence. If they were to summarize your life in one sentence, what would that sentence be? You see, when I moved in from the Virgin Islands, I came up here with a goal that I wanted to go perform, dance on stage, keep it jiggy, do my thing. <laughs> right? That was my passion. That's what I, I said when I get up here, that's what I'm doing. No one will stop me from doing it. And as I came and I was going through this process, I recognized that my passion started to shift. Because when I was performing on stage and having a good time, that was really for me. A lot of times you're not going to get a lot out of life if you're not contributing to others. I'm not talking about money. Money should be the bonus but not the focus. There's nothing like peace of mind when you know that you're doing something that you love every day of your life. So identify your values and then you have to identify what your passion is, which is sometimes very difficult because we don't know how do we identify our passion. Well, I tell people to ask yourself three questions. Again, they're there, so you're going to be able to get that. But the first question I like to tell people to ask when you're trying to find your passion is what do I find easy to do that others find difficult? What do I find easy to do that others find difficult? When I had to answer it for myself, I said, you know what, I could stay in a room and talk all day. I could talk for three hours, I could talk about life, I could talk about improvement, and it's something that I enjoy on a regular basis. I love to empower. So first of all, my life sentence, I want the word empowerment to be in my life sentence. The second question you want to ask yourself is, what could I do every day of my life without having to get paid for it? See, most of the time we just think, I'm going to go to school, I'm going to choose this major because it makes money. Making that money is not going to give you life, it's not going to let you live, it's not going to let you grow. So you have so many people who end up taking these, taking up a major and saying, you know what, I'm doing it because, you know what, there's a lot of money there. I know I can make money. I take a, a major because it's general. When I came back, I decided to study business. I went right here to Monroe. So when I went to Monroe, I said I'm going to study business because it's general. And as I was studying business, I was doing all these classes and I recognized I was doing business, but I'm not moved by it. When I get up in the morning, why? what happens when you, when you have a job that you don't like? You find every reason not to go, right? When you, have a, you find every reason, all of a sudden, <laughs> oh, my oh, I can't go to work today. A little proud. Yeah. My stomach is upset. I can't go to work today. If you're at work, what you doing? You're sitting there at work? Damn, 10 o'clock. Got more hours. Then. Look around for a minute. 10.05. Damn, <laughs> time has to move. Because you're not motivated. It's not your passion. I tell people when I step in this room, when I step in the classroom, I am free to the world. I'm free. Because I'm doing what I love, I do what I'm passionate about. So what could you do every day of your life without having to get paid for it? If you think about that, you say, wow, I have a couple things I like to do. After you ask yourself that question, then the next question you want to ask yourself is, how could that thing be of contribution to society? How could it contribute to society? Because you see, the thing is, right, money can't make your passion, but your passion will make you money. A bad attitude will always cost you more in life. It will cost you your friends, it will cost you your family, it will cost you your dreams. So if you know there's things that you want to accomplish, your attitude and everything that you do has to televise that. People have to be able to see that. They need to be able to, you need to be able to broadcast that on a regular basis. So work on your attitude. And you have to think right that you're going to go through some situations as you're here in school, right? You're, and some of you probably already went through it already. Courtney touched on it a little bit. E plus R equals O though. E plus R equals O. You're gonna have an event that occurs in your life. You're gonna have an event that occurs in your life. 
And with events, right? Events are always external from you. You can't control the events. You can't control when the moron comes up and says, why are you in school still? Why are you ain't spending enough time with me at home? You can't control that when the, when the family members say, oh, you think you're better than us now because you're in school. You can't control that. You can't control the external events. But you have a response that you have the ability to control. When you hear the word responsibility, responsibility. The ability to respond to whatever it is happens, you have the ability to respond. Now think of it this way. You have the event plus your response will determine the outcome. Some people say, oh, well, no, but something just happened and you can't control it. So let's do some mathematics here. If this was a negative five in terms of an event, and your response was a negative five, what would you get? Negative 10, right? I'm sorry, negative 10. Negative five, negative five. Negative 10, because it's negative, negative, right? So it would be negative 10. Now imagine the same situation you had a negative five event, but your response was a positive five. You get zero, right? So what this shows us is that if a negative event happens and you respond negatively, it's gonna come out worse. If you respond positively, it may not come out to the best outcome that you wanted, but it would be better than if you had came out negatively. 